Hey guys, a long time no see. So this is basically, what, it's like June 25th and this is kind of my, really my first ride of the year. I've gone for some short spurts around town, but uh, I've had a really, really late start to my season. Number one, because the winter stuck around way longer than it did last year and uh, I had dropped my bike off for service and then also ordered some new tires so I left it at the dealership to uh, get the tires put on. So I could have been riding for the past two weeks but my bike was at the dealer anyways. So I'm riding with a buddy, he's behind me on a KLR 650 that he just got and uh, he's never been to the flat railway tunnel, so I'm taking him out there. And if you saw the last video I did to the flat tunnel where I rode out there in the snow on my fat bike, somebody had uh, spray painted a bunch of uh, ugly neon graffiti on the walls of the tunnel way out in the country, like, sorry, it just doesn't fit in with the area so I bought a can of brown spray paint and uh, hopefully I'll be able to cover over their ugly uh, graffiti. Okay now we get to a more interesting part of Mud Lake Road. It's a little more twisty. So I have uh, knobby tires on this bike now. They're Shinko 244s. This is a really inexpensive, uh, I think it's almost about a 50-50 tire. I'm running a 4.6 inch on the front and the back. So the same size front and rear. Kind of looks funny in the front because it's so fat. It kind of looks like my, my uh, fat bike, my fat mountain bike. And they're definitely a lot less fun to ride uh, on pavement like this. And they uh, wiggle and squiggle and squirm. Especially at highway speeds, you can feel the squirming because the knobs are so big. They flex, but the trade-off is uh, gravel roads and some of the mild, mild to moderate off-roading I'm going to do, uh, I'll be able to approach it with pretty much complete confidence. They definitely hum, hum and vibrate at highway speeds. I'm still kind of... Uh, exploring their limits, you know, in terms of how far I can lean them over on the pavement. Because it feels weird, because when you lean it over, you can <laughs> feel the squirming and the wiggling of the knobs. <coughs> it's a little bit disconcerting. Got away from my buddy. He's moved up to a KLR 650 and he had a 250 before, so he's now riding a substantially heavier bike. Substantially more powerful, not that the KLR is huge power, but it's quite a bit more powerful than what he had, so he's still getting his bearings on that bike. This is uh, Strawberry Hill, one of the bigger hills around here. It's a good challenging hill on a bicycle. Of course, you can come flying down it this way. <coughs> a good challenging way to climb on the way back. <coughs> and a beautiful view of northwestern Ontario. See, there's a cell tower, a couple cell towers on the top of these big hills. Now that I have these tires, I want to go explore and go up to some of those hills because I'm sure the view up there is awesome. <coughs> so, Silver Falls Road. Got maybe a couple K more pavement and then gonna hit the gravel. <laughs> See what these tires can do. Water levels are really high. There was flooding on this road uh, just last week. This road is actually closed. <coughs> yeah, water's really up. So, 
30. Not my my speed only says 10 over. Really? Yeah. I go maybe 10 over. Yeah, well, I checked. You actually came through almost the same speed as me, so. Yeah, like I'm going like a hundred almost. Like, you're going pretty fast. I'm, go right? oh, my sp I'm only going ten over, according to my speedo, anyways. So now it changes to gravel. And the fun begins. I wonder if my tank's not too right? It has to be, though. Like, I mean. Huh? I don't know. I thought it was only 60 there. Was that 80? Where? Oh yeah, it was 60. Uh, yeah. yeah, maybe I was doing 80 in some sections there, but there's never any cops there. Yeah, huh. Get these sweet sweepers here. Yeah, his KLR, uh, I mean, I guess they are dual sport tires, but they're definitely street oriented dual sport tires, so <coughs> he can't attack these roads. Uh, way I can with these tires now. Shinko 244. Yeah see this is this is the kind of riding I want to do this summer. These gravel roads, curvy gravel roads, blasting up and down them. There's so many roads like this around here. The great thing is you're Pretty much guaranteed you're not going to see any of the pow pow police officers. You know you're in the country when one lane bridge. Now we got another series of rollers you can probably get air off of if you uh, came at them fast enough. Okay, we're almost there. We got maybe five kilometers till we get to the tunnel. Okay, so we're gonna hang our, oh. Hopefully the handguard protected your clutch there. Okay, let's lift her up. I gotta take a picture of this and send it to my buddy. Okay. <laughs> You okay if I put that on YouTube? Go ahead, man. Okay. <laughs> I don't care. Like, I think I'm Gas is leaking, so let's lift it up. How are your levers? Oh, yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, this thing just like bends, eh, and then protects everything? Mm hmm Okay, we got about five kilometers. Okay, well he dropped his bike, coming to a stop. Pretty much everybody does it at some point. Although I haven't on this bike yet anyways. I mean I've dumped it twice but both times riding it off road.
but it's a top heavy bike he's got there and it's probably close to almost 200 pounds heavier than the bike he had before so the old homestead and now that he dropped his bike I'm sure he's gonna be make him a little bit more nervous which is normal Okay, the tunnel is about 2K down this way. So this is uh, all gravel or railway tracks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the railway tunnel of death yet again a.k.a. the Flat Railway Tunnel. Oh, what's with all the uh, wood chips? Really cool place. It happens, man. Off. Okay, well, we're gonna ride through, and then we'll just turn around the other side. Yeah, definitely get that kickstand shortened, man. We are at the flat tunnel. It's quick. Quickie King just messaged me. Oh, yeah? It keeps going. Yeah, well, because it was part of the railway track, right? It just keeps going, and it's straight. So, you just follow this road across the country? Probably not, because it'll probably hook up with tracks somewhere. But there are roads that scoot off. So you can get back to the highway. There's some graffiti there, but it's not it's not ugly like the other stuff was. It actually matches the decor. Where is the other one? It's down at the other end, yeah. It's like pink and green. Okay, let's drive through. There's the graffiti I want to get rid of. So I bought a can of frickin' brown spray paint. Try and cover over some of this grody graffiti. Fortunately, it's all wet rock. How's that look, shit brown? Let's 
See, this one's all wet. I'm going to have to come back here when the, the stuff is dried up. Back to its natural state of shit brown. Yeah, well, it's probably too, because when I came here uh, about a month ago, there was ice in the middle. Like, they get, uh, what are those, stalagmites? Stalactites in here. A huge ones sometimes. Ice ones. Whoever spray painted this originally was taller than me. Man, it's going to be expensive to cover this stuff up. I'll have to come back when uh, that wall's dry and do that one. Okay, whole can done. We'll start heading back. You know what? Actually, I want to take a few more pictures because uh, the sun was washing out my photos over there. It's going to look better from this side. Yeah, the tires look cool, eh? And it looks weird because you don't usually see them in 17 inch, you know what I mean? Usually it has a really tall front wheel. So yeah, here is, it's May 25th and uh, there's still snow. But this is, this face is like north-south, so like uh, the sun only shines here for a few hours a day. <sighs> okay, we're going to start heading home. Alright guys, first real ride of the year, thanks for watching.